Hola, it's Audrey and Maddie, and today we're making Jello. We're gonna make a really big Jello cake. Well, not really a cake, more like a thing of Jello. Yeah, we're gonna put it in this bowl and layer it. So when we flip it over, it'll be like this cool dome thing. So what you're gonna need is we're gonna need four bowls. Actually, five, five bowls, bowls. Five bowls. Because we're well, we're using three different types of Jellos. But we're splitting this in half, so it's on the bottom and the top. The fifth bowl is used for the mold. Yeah. If you find another mold, you can just use that. And so gonna you're gonna need a lot of water. So we'll just grab a measuring cup. And yeah. then we have so our the three flavors. Jello flavors. Yeah, the flavors we're using are strawberry, grape, and berry blue. Berry blue. Okay, so the first step, because we want strawberry on the bottom, is well, this says two cups boiling water, two cups cold water. We're going to use half uh, for now. So we're going to do one cup boiling water and one cup cold water. And boiling water to gelatin mix. So first we need to boil yeah. a cup of water. So we'll be right back when it's boiling. All right, so now we're going to pour half the strawberry mix into this bowl. We have our boiling water and our cold water. And it works best, so... We don't waste our boiling water. Mm -hmm. Put it in here and see how much is in there. All right. Is that one cup? Yeah, I think it's about like one cup. Yeah, spill. I'll that one. And then yeah, that was about one cup, so then half, half of that. Good. Yeah. Oh, it's, all right. Now we have to pour this in and mix it. Wait, you have to, no, we have to wait for it to dissolve first. It kinda looks like it already dissolved. Yeah, nope. because it's hot water. Okay, it so dissolved. we're gonna slowly mix it. And we're gonna mix it until it's dissolved. And I can't get and then stuff I'm gonna, And then I'm gonna, not gonna add it all at once, I'll add it slowly add the water. No, you are going to add it at once. I mean, no, you but just like slowly. Stir for two minutes until completely dissolves. Oh, yeah. Stir in cold water. So, so once this is dissolved, we'll get back. All right, now we're going to add the cold water. And keep stirring. You're going to notice it's starting to have bubbles around the rim. You think that's but good? Should we pour it in? Um, Mixing it for a little bit. So we should <laughs> pour it in right now. Yeah, let's pour it in. And then we'll put it in the refrigerator. I know it's a little over, but I, I caught it. I caught it. Okay, so now we're going to add the water. Why don't you go put so that in the refrigerator? And then ready. we'll put this in the sink to rinse out and wash. Um, now we're going to time lapse the rest of the jello. We'll pause it for like like layering the things, but we're gonna stop it. Yeah. Like time lapse it. Alright, so we've put all the layers on except the last one. Where is it? Oh. Which is in the fridge. So the last pink one. We decided to speed up the process a little bit. We put the jello in the freezer so it wouldn't take as long. And then while sorry, while the jello was cooling in the freezer, we put the one that we've made in the fridge to cool it down and again speed up the process. So we're gonna pour this in, but you have to make sure you put it everywhere. Yeah, you want to pour it in like a circular motion, so the so the stream of jello doesn't tear through the layer, through the bottom layer. Like that. 
Does it? There are bubbles inside of it, but I think this will go away when they're done. Yeah. Now we're gonna so, put it in the actual fridge instead of putting yeah. it in the freezer. Yeah, because this bowl is really cool. I think it cools for about four hours, so we we're gonna put it about on. Four hours. Yeah, and then we're gonna put it on really big plates, and then we'll put some. And we'll show you guys. Yeah, we'll flip it over. I hope. And then it com that'll come. I really out. hope they didn't mix. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. So it didn't exactly work. Yeah, it so. was kind of a massive flop. <laughs> so we're putting it into separate bowls in the refrigerator. But them. it still worked. All the layers worked, which is cool. Yeah, didn't have the correct sort of. mold. Yeah. didn't really have the correct mold. Use this so good. Okay. I've just been eating them. Just been taking it. Oh, there's a big chunk of strawberry. Oh, look at this. Is, this is a good solid chunk. It's really cool because you can still see the layers. I mean, you might not be able to catch it on camera, but you can see the layers in real life. So, if you make this, you might want to use an actual mold instead of or using put a it, or make sure it's very solid. And maybe put and then put like something put something on the bowl 